One of the areas that many people like to refine is the ability to really adjust the bottom and the top of the photo separately. This is particularly true for landscape photography. Let me show you how we can control the sky a bit better, as well as use a polarizer. Now, as we take a look here, the polarizing filter is a useful way to really go after the sky area. And you'll notice that as that value increases, it targets the blues in the sky. Now, this particular image doesn't have a lot of blue because the clouds were very thick that day. But I do like how the polarizer is helping get some better separation there in the clouds versus the sky. Additionally, let's go to the top and bottom tuning filter here. This filter makes it easy to target things, but in order to do this accurately, click the Set Orientation button. This allows you to adjust where the horizon is and the ability to create a transition zone. For example, I can actually have a nice gentle transition here from the top to the bottom. Now, let's make an adjustment to the top. Notice I can start to pull the exposure down at the top of the image, as well as bring out the vibrance a little bit and cool that shot down to emphasize the blues. If I adjust the orientation here, by clicking back on the Set Orientation button, this makes it easy to refine where that transition occurs. Maybe I just want that just up in the sky here, above the mountain range. And now that does a very nice job of just creating a little bit more visual interest in the top with the sky. On the bottom here, I can actually warm that up a little bit, bringing out some of the reddish and golden tones for the desert. And bring out more color, or perhaps a little bit less. In fact, I'm gonna back that off, but bump up the contrast, and I like that. Now, you'll see that we have just a little bit better separation, and I like how the shadows start to fall into the foreground here. Top and bottom tuning is incredibly useful for creating a graduated filter. Graduated filters are often used in landscape photography on the camera itself. It'll allow you to get more interesting skies or to create a nice ramping into the subject. With the ability for you to do this in post, it's incredibly flexible. And when working with an HDR image, you have tremendous latitude to bring back the exposure, to take it back down or lift it, shift the color temperatures. There's all sorts of things you can do that really closely simulate what many people have traditionally done in camera.